Hello everyone, it's Z Feroli here. It's been quite a while since I made my last video. I apologize for that, just so much stuff going on. Anyway, with, I wanted to make a new video with the new Season 7 coming up soon. It's not just going to be about Arachne, don't worry, but it is one thing. It's focused on it, but I wanted to talk about a certain new item coming to the game. And that is the Kadea Shield. When I, when I think it's pretty uh, what's the right word to use it's being a bit under a pr undervalued a little bit or not going under people's radar i think especially for certain gods that only can heal while in combat because a lot of times um, let's go over the item first with that <laughs> so this item builds from the um, enchanted buckler tree so it's a magical defense item but it does gain physical defense for 2,500 gold, Kadea Shield gives you 30 power, which is pretty, which compared to the other ones, is on the, the lowest of them. Gives you 35 magic physical protections, which none of the others have. Gives you 35 magical protections, which is lower than every other one. It's actually tied to the Warded Shield. And it gives you 100 health, which is less than Runic Shield. So all on its own, it gives you a good base around stats. It's not great in any stat, but it's nice and average and balanced with that. However, the passive is what people have been wanting for a long time. It's basically a physical version of Rod of Exclepius. Kadea Shield has an aura, which has allied guards within 70 units of you, have their healing increased by 10%. If you have taken damage or dealt damage within the last five seconds, that healing goes up to 15%. And it does not stack with other auras, of course. Um, basically, when you're in combat, you have a 25% extra healing gun to you. So yeah, um, the a lot of people did not like Rod, or didn't use Rod of Ascribius too much. But um, I think this item is actually going to be a lot better than Rod of Explicious. Well, I can't speak that word, but no one can. Rod. A lot better than Rod. Mostly because of certain... A lot of the physical gods... It's The stats are a lot better for the physical gods, with giving you a nice, a bit, a nice mix of defensive options for you. And a lot of physical gods don't need to be in com... I mean, have to be in combat to get the increased healing, which means they'll, you'll always be getting that 25% extra healing done. Arachne is an example, Kamazots is an example, Tyr is an example. All those guys need to be in heal, like hit someone with their ability to get the healing off, which means you'll always get the 25% extra healing. And it it is pretty sizable. Um, let me show you what how much um, she can heal um, with my standard build first that I like to build with her. Just gonna throw this on. My standard normal build for Arachne is basically like this. Then, depending on what I'm fighting, let's say I'm going for a build that I want to be a bit. I don't need as many protections on, so we'll go for a more power-focused build. So, Masamune. This, uh, no, let's not go Masamune. Let's go, I usually grab one physical item. Let's say Masamune is my only physical I defense item I grab, just for the heck of it. And then, since I'm doing so well, let's say I go... Asai. Just for the heck, just for this example, we're going to be going Asai. With the, with this more pure... Actually, no, I don't like that. Um, let's say I'm going for... I want to be a bit mixy, defensive -y, Like this. So, like, I'm going for more build, and then I grab a physical defense item at the end with Asai. Oh, let's go with my normal Void Shield. That's better. This is my normal build. I like to go with Arachne a lot. When I need to be a bit tanky, but I also need to want to do some good amount of damage. So, okay. So, let's go look and see how much my healing does right now. So, right now, I'm going to let him hit me a few times. Hit this so I can see what's going on. My heal is... So as you can see, I'm healing for 50, 50, 53, 53, 54. 
And then that initial burst heal was... Basically 54 healing each time. About. Basically about 54 healing each time. That would be more if I... Well, it would be more if I went more focused stiff at power build or whatnot. And basically four ticks of that, 54, 50, oh, six ticks of that. A decent chunk of healing. I go like, get a, let's, I'll show you like how low I can go and then. 54, see, hits hitting me, 54, 52, ba -ba -ba -ba. So just with one that. I basically am negating the damage he's doing. The gold fury is doing to me. Basically. A little more. I'm healing a little more than the gold fury is doing for me. Now, if let's say let's replace Void Shield with the Kadeus item. The new item, Kadeus Shield. Now I'm healing for 68 per tick doing out healing the enemy healing hitting me and that's just with like a more mixy like a mix build a bruiser build arachne so i'm healing a lot of damage with that sort of build 68 per tick and you tick about 0.5 seconds for three seconds so you're healing 68 um six times so you're healing about 60, 30, let's say, let's round up for your healing for 70, just for the heck of it. 70 per tick, five times, or six times, would be 350, 420. You're doing 400, about a little less than 420 damage with healing with that move, because you're always going to be in combat. This means Arachne has pretty much negated that one nerf that got to her. So she can now dive towers better. He and basically get into combat heal better. With the more protections and the health, she's able to tank a lot more stuff and be able to get out of a lot of sticky situations more. For her, I would be building this item probably third or fourth on her as my first defensive item for her when I'm in the jungle so I can just streamline and heal through any sort of engagements I need to do. And this is even on a, just a more tankyish build. If I don't need Mantle Dis... I mean, when with Mantle Discord, you're pretty much n not unkillable, mind you. But you'd take a... You're very hard to kill. Hell, you can even replace this with Magi's Cloak. And now you're going to be just as hard, depending on if you have more fighting... A more CC heavy comp versus a more like burst damage heavy comp. It's like this would be a good item if you're very, going against a very CC heavy team. You can just heal up any any attack. You can just ignore that. I prefer Mantle or Discord because of the more defensives. But this is very good on a very CC heavy team as well. You can even go a more power build too. You can get talk again. You can even replace it with Toxic Blade if you want that. I don't know if I ever went over it, but I really do like Atlant Atlanta's bow on her because it's basically a much better, cheaper version of Hasten Katana. Especially when you need to rotate between hitting between guys, you can hit a few guys and then run for a good amount of time with the heavy more movement speed. And it's cheaper and everything. It's basically gives you better stats than Hasten. Anyway, that's we got beside the point. You can get Toxic Blade if you want more. Um, if you need anti heal, you can get Masamune, which I like a lot on her, especially with these two. You'll get a nice chunk of defense, oh, of, pa of protections and stuff. So if you go over here, boom, you have. A decent amount of protections, and you're going to be healing basically anything any people can do to you, anything like that. You can go Bloods Forge if you're just steamrolling. Anything. You basically, with this one item, which is pretty good, pretty good, and I think is going to be a core defensive item on Arachne, it's going to work very well out for her. But again, I said, I said this video is going to be more than just Arachne with this item. I'm, I'm going to show a few other gods that are quite good with this item. Arachne is one of the, my favorite one of it, of course, but she's the one I always use with everything, as you guys know. 
However, there are two, three other gods I'm going to go over quickly on what you're really good with this item and show you just how good the item works on them. First is going to be a, um, another assassin. The two assassins that work really well with this item. This one is going to be Kamazots. Kamazots, as you know, very happy in the solo lane, Brills Bruiser, and just is known for out-sustaining anything in the solo lane, even King Arthur almost. <laughs> and this item, you can rush this item, first item, as your Wayne defensive item, and you're going to out-sustain anything. So let's go with... Let's just... Let's first, before going max build, I'm going to go to show... Where's the increase level? Here we go. Let's say we hit level 5. We're going to assume if you kind of rush to this item, you are going to be have this item finished after you got um, your other items finished. Let's say you were doing good. Let's see. So, you would have... You are rushing. Where are you? Physical, because you're going against a physical god, gladiator shield. <laughs> you got that, because that's always good. Actually, you don't even need gladiator shield with him, honestly, with this. Ah, let's just say you get gladiator, your normal start. You get gladiator shield, you get boots, and then you get this item as your third item. So let's say you're at this. I guess you would more be at probably level 7 at this point. Let's assume you're at level 7 at this point. So you're going over here and the game time is 9 minutes into the game. Well, that's not the best place to show. Let's go to fight a enemy god. <laughs> Let's say we're going against a normal support. Let's see, a warrior. So you're fighting like normal. And then you do that. You just, oh, any of the damage he just did to you, you just heal that right up. Um, I'm gonna even let him just wail on me for a little while. With just these three items, and rank four of this ability, look how much you heal. That is a nice chunk of that healing. Actually, I didn't even have that off, so... You are re healing really well. And then even with this, because you're technically in combat. You're in combat, so you're constantly healing anything he decides to do. All right, calm down, show off. And you're, do you're healing a lot. This is a very good item to rush on Kamazot solo. Even jungle, you can get this pretty early. I would say fourth item after third or fourth item probably after boots and jotins on him that would be really good you can gank a lot better and heal any sort of damage you do so anyway let me show you like let's say the normal traditional end game um kamazots build is let's see jotin <laughs> blood forge I guess brawlers. Then we go more defensive with mantle of discord and a void shield with and let's grab a magical defense item too. Let a Kamazot solo my grab. Genji's? Actually, let's say you're going against a healer. Let's say you're going against a healer. This will be your build, most likely by end game, with the Kamazots. Actually, you could even. Now, let's say you're going for this. Because this would just be a nice, simple, normal Kamazots end of the end build with him. 
health down. Okay. Right now, with this, you heal 211 with this build. Now, let's say we replace Void Shield with um, that um, Kadea Shield. Shield of Kadea, Kadea Shield, same difference. <laughs> Kadea Shield. So, as you saw, we were healing 211. Um, let's take a few more tower shots over here. This is like, like I said, you assume this build is break if you're going against a Chunga or a mage or a sub guardian in the jump. And that's solo lane. Now, let's say you healed for 277 this time. You went up a good chunk of healing with this. A very nice chunk of healing from 211 to 277. That's a lot of healing you're doing more. Now, let's say you're not going against a healer at all. So you won't have that, you won't have that. If you're like, um, I would go a lot. If you're not like against any sort. Even if, actually, if you're going against a healer, I would say, let's grab this again, brawlers. And then, I think you could get away with even just the, this. If you want to be a true annoying guy with Kamazats. And this new item. Take a few shots. You have good amount of defenses, 132 in each, which will increase to about one. As you'll see, this will increase to about, while well, in, well, around a whole bunch of guys. 167. Now, with that heal, you're healing for 344. You have, you have pretty much really increased all the healing you're going to be doing, especially that this, watch this. You're healing for 93 each person, which is a lot. <laughs> well, technically, let's see, actually. I want to check, check something, because sometimes that sort of thing, you might be doing the damage. You might be healing and then getting the damage done. Just want to make sure with that, which is triggering first with this. Take damage, take damage. Because I know I was getting more damage when I was testing this earth. Well, actually, no, that was a never god I was testing this with. Never mind. But yeah, as you can see, I'm really low. I got that for the power boost. Now, 101 each person I get. Get this again so I keep my heal. And then I'll show you the maximum we can get with even the one. Into two, and that's not even counting the extra healing, which we can do right. If you want to even see the more, the maximum amount of healing you can get with him right now. Do, 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 do. So you saw we were doing three forty-four. Now that was three fifty-seven. That's not going to be as much because I didn't heal. I was full health. Now, we'll go get, my, get myself hurt again. I want to back up. And with this build, you have a lot of CDR too, which is always good. So, Kamazats. So now we're quite low. We got maximum, we got the maximum amount of damage. Oh, I suck. <laughs> Pretend you didn't see that. Okay, so let's see how much I'm going to heal from this. 
420 healing. As much as Arachne's one heal, which is a pretty one of the best heals in the game. And that was more of a defensive Arachne too, if you noticed. <laughs> but yeah, this that's a major amount of healing. But just plop and you walk away and you can do other things, you can fight. 420 heal. That is a really good one. Kamazots is probably one of the best users of this item. I, Arachne and Kamazots are both really good users of this item for the assassins. There are other assassins that can self-heal. Naja can use it. If you just, and he works decently well, though it doesn't seem to give as much of a bump as you would think for some reason. Thanatos is a very good user of it. Though he doesn't have the penetration he... Well, he doesn't need to use penetration. It, it, it can be very good on a Thanatos who needs a one defensive item. This is going to be very good on any self-healing assassin in the jungle or solo that needs a self-heal on themselves. Um, but really, that's not even the nuttiest two uses of this item. Let's say there are two um, war warriors... There are a few warriors that can heal. Everyone already knows that Guan's going to be pretty good with this. And yes, he is going to be very good with this item. But one uh, guy I that I find is <laughs> pretty damn amazing with this item Tear. is Tear. Tear with this item. You think he's, um, he's annoying right now with the healing he does? Just... <laughs> oh boy, just... Just wait till it's what it's like with once he has this item on him. We're gonna just go straight to level 20 and get that all leveled up. Put these cooldowns. So we're gonna go the normal tier build, which is only hunters, because you're in the middle of the fight a lot. Contagion, we'll say, because you're fighting an anti, a physical healer. Mantle of Discord, a uh, wide oh, win actually, because we want to cool down. Uh, let's see what the other ones that we like down him. I'm just trying to remember. I apologize. Mantle of Discord 2. Actually, no, no. Jotun's and... Crusher because of all the times you're hitting with him. And we all have that, but let's I go abroad. The heck of it. Nah. I am not that. I am. <laughs> I just had a good build with him earlier that I liked a lot than when I was testing, but now I can't remember what I had on him now. What a terrible. Terrible thing I'm doing right now. A wise choice. Thank you. Let's go with this. Mystical Mill got buffed too. Oh right, I remember what it was. Um This is if you're going to fuel, pure, I'm going to annoy the heck out of you build. <laughs> but, um, cooldown percent. This is your normal. Tier wants to annoy the heck out of you build. Um, let's see. Now let's go get my, show how much we can heal with this. Okay, 
So my healing right now is 338 per heal. Not terrible, not not terrible. Let's now let's just say we're gonna replace mystical mail with like a day of shield. Though let's let's say we're not going against any anti healing. Well if we are Let's say we're not going against any anti we'll go the norm this is a normal build I would say with tier is good. Lots of defenses, things like that. I'm just getting hurt again. As you saw, we were hitting for 138 per person hit. Let this go away. Now we're healing for 180 a hit. So that's a 50 increase on each person. About. 180 per person I'm hitting. Constant in damage, constant proc in that. That's a re that's a nice big, basically another 150 damage in healing. So 180, 180, 180. That's about f another 420 solid heal instantaneously against anyone. While you're still being tanky, while you're still able to do all your normal tier things, which is always good. We're gone. As you can tell, I'm not very good with tier, but yeah, it's a nice, really good item on tier to make him even more annoying <laughs> to fight. And the last person that's really good with this is Hercules, but I think we go understand why Hercules could be really, really, really annoying with this item. Gives you a nice, huge chunk of just staying in combat, nice, and always healing with him. Which no one likes to do, and no one likes to fight a Hercules. We're gone. Yeah, once I get better with Tia, that would be even better. But yeah, that is... The shield of Cadeus. It is a if any god, any physical god that has to heal while in combat is going to get the most use out of this, other than certain ones like Tear or maybe Horus. Well, not Tear. I mean Guan Yu, maybe Horus. People that have good a big AOE heals, they will still be decent on this item. But the real people that shine very well on this item are going to be the guys that can do the in combat only self-healing they're gonna get the most healing out of this for sure like I said my favorite Arachne goes does exceptionally well with it it lets her ape do her normal Arachne things just running at people constantly diving towers especially if you get this third item not you don't again you don't rush boots you get this item third with Arachne maybe fourth after your two after you get um, Golden Blade and, and Stone Cutting Sword, you get either that item if you need more defenses and you know you're going to be diving more, or you get um, my favorite, that um, Atalanta's bow with her, and then she just can just dive towers, dive anyone, and come out on top with all the healing. Even it basically negates over half of most anti-healing people do to you. So even that doesn't save people. Anti-healing does not save people anymore. That's what against Arachne. Otherwise, Kamazat is an excellent user of this item. Able to just heal everyone, not everyone, himself really well in any teamfight engagement. Especially as a solo guy, he's charging in, healing guys, jumping on guys, throw, spitting bats at people, healing, getting heaven lifesteal healing that way, just constantly healing himself. There's no way to, you can almost not box him, almost. And then last, my three favorite, like, last of the three favorite gods I think are going to be really good with this item is Tyr. 
because of his constant fighting people, his ult. Swipe there, healing so much. Over 400 damage every few seconds. You can't go wrong with it. And yeah, that's basically everything I wanted to say. Shield of Cadeus is pretty dang good. I'm waiting to see if it's going to get buffed or no, nerfed or not, which I can see it actually happening. But how would you nerf this item without killing it, though, is the question. You can't lower its def special defense anymore. Otherwise, it's going to be lower than Warded Shield, so you can't do that. The only things you can touch are the physical, which I don't think they will because it matches so well. The physical protections. The physical power or the health, I think, are the two things that are, might be touched. I can see it going to maybe 20 power at the lowest, at the minimum, or losing the health. One of the two. Either way, I think if it's going to get nerfed, which I don't think it needs to, it's actually it's quite, quite good, but that's just me. <laughs> that is what I would look at. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching. So I rambled a bit like I normally do, but <laughs> in the future I will once season seven's fully out, I will give a full arachne guide on it. Suffice it to say this item's gonna be on it and what you saw at the in, when I was building her is basically what I like, but I'll go into more detail on it. Probably closer to when season season seven is out. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.